Hi there, everybody. How are you? Welcome back to Magic Root Work of Love and Prosperity, Love Triangle Reading. This one is for Virgo. Beautiful, powerful, beautiful Virgo. The moon is in Virgo right now. The new moon that started yesterday, it's in Virgo right now. So a lot of you are probably feeling that need to really go to your heart, Virgo, and figure out if you want to connect, you know, with your partner, if you want to stay in this relationship. Some of you may even be married, you know. Uh, the love triangle relationship, I get so many requests and readings for that, you know, because it seems to be a time for so many of us to decide, you know, make different decisions. So I want to thank you and welcome you back. Subscribers, if you would like to be notified every time I do a reading, all you have to do is click the little bell when you subscribe. Also, um, if you are interested in a personal private reading, the compatibility reads right now are only $33. They're normally $50. If you would like to know more about Conjure Magic Root Work and how I help my clients to break through and have the life that they want, uh, you can visit the website www.rootsofearth.net or you can email me and if it's really urgent you can call or text me and we can do a one-to-one -one session you know for an hour it's sixty dollars for an hour of coaching guidance soul guidance and understanding um, whatever the topic may be because I'm shamanically trained I'm also trained in Reiki uh, to help with those blocks and to clear things. I work a lot with saints, ancestors, conjure, etc. Okay, so I've been shuffling now, Virgo. Let's see what's going on in your relationship that you're in right now. Okay, <clears throat> spiritual strength. Okay, so Virgo, with this showing up front and center, it's letting me know already that this is an issue possibly that you're having with a soulmate. I'm also hearing that it's about forgiveness as well. That's also what I'm hearing in my ear. On the bottom of the deck, it's stand your ground, Virgo. Okay, so stand your ground. Um, <clears throat> let's go further with this. Okay, try up. Okay, so Virgo, I'm hearing already, what I'm hearing from Spirit is that this relationship, it has tested you and it's caused you to kind of earn your wings and earn your battle scars as well, okay? Emotional withdrawal is the next card. So with emotional withdrawal, spiritual strength, and triumph, I do feel, uh, Virgo, that, you know, the person you've been in this relationship with who is possibly, you know, cheating, you know, they're, they're lying. It feels like they've been doing this for a while to you. It's not brand new. It feels like it's a lot of wounds that this person has put on you. Okay. Yeah. I feel somehow in this relationship, you have developed a pattern Virgo with this person because you love them and you view them uh, as someone who you could be close to or possibly a soulmate. Um, spirit would like you to start speaking up and using your throat chakra energy. Okay. That's why that card is there. So you've got this foundation Virgo with your partner. Okay. Of having this emotional withdrawal that you don't share with other people. You need to speak up in this relationship. Possibly this person has been lying to you or cheating for a while. Okay. Heart chakra. So this relationship, Virgo, that you've had going on with this person, even though you know about the third person, you know about this fifth wheel, the other woman, the other man, even though you know about it, you've had a hard time just letting go of this. And that's because it, it has affected so much of your soul. Here we have prosperity begins in the ongoing position here. So if we look further into this, Virgo, it seems that possibly... Uh, you may be able to manifest some healing within your relationship, okay, with this person because it seems that they have affected your chakra system so much, you know, and it, it's on the spiritual level. The first card was spiritual strength and then triumph. So one thing that I can tell you that I'm really getting from this, 
Virgo, is that even though it's been some challenges there, triumph crossing this relationship is a good indicator. Okay, going forward in the future position, we have prosperity begins, obstacles and challenges. Okay, so if you go forward and you decide that you do want to pursue keeping this person, being with this person, because you view them on this level that's so deep and spiritual, even though you've been wounded and you decide you want to stay in this relationship, in this union, it's going to take divine timing to help you. Because even though you have the aspect of prosperity, you have obstacles and challenges also as you're moving forward. Okay. The next card is spiritual union. So definitely, uh, Virgo, this is probably one of your soulmates. We have many. We don't just have one soulmate. We have many. And that's usually done, you know, we decide that before we even come into this lifetime, Virgo. So this is definitely either a twin flame or a soulmate, okay, that you're involved with. And it's not going to be easy to just let them go. However... What I'm also hearing is that spirit will be like your cheerleader for you. If you decide that you're going to move on, Virgo, from this relationship, you know, I, I feel the spirit is going to really help you with this. It's going to be like divine timing, and it's going to be like you really digging deep into your throat chakra to understand you have powerful things to say. You have a lot of self-worth that you have to understand and start speaking it out. You have to understand it and recognize it. Your heart is also very powerful, you know, and it's been activated by all of this energy with this soulmate, okay? The next card here is Sacral Chakra. So this, um, it has a couple different meanings in this reading, Virgo. I'm hearing that it needs to be cleansed, that you need good chakra balancing and cleansing, but I'm also hearing that you've been affected very much by your chakra mate. You know, anytime you have a really deep soulmate or a twin flame connection, it's going to affect you entirely. Okay. So it's a lot of, yeah, I'm also hearing Virgo that this is a lot of wisdom going on. Okay. That you're earning in this relationship. The very next card here is temptation. This card Virgo being in this position OK, this is huge because this is like the total outcome here of this relationship and it's temptation here. This card, Virgo, is showing that your relationship has some addictive quality. So your partner that's stepping out on you, OK, they could very well be ruled by an addiction. Okay, they may feel judged in the relationship, Virgo. They may feel that this other person has a connection with them of freedom. The other woman, the other man may feel, they feel that they can connect with this person no matter what without any kind of judgment. Okay, if they're in this relationship with you and you're a true Virgo, sun, moon, or rising, you've got standards, Okay, you've got standards, you understand that, you know, you want to be in a good relationship, you want a future with your partner. However, Virgo, if your your partner has this element going on, and they're bringing this element into your relationship, this is about toxic energy sometimes. This is uh, a dance, you know, of temptation, lust, um, greed, possible envy, jealousy, uh, <clears throat> addictions, you know, online addiction. Is it a porn addiction? Is it alcohol, drugs? Is it that they relapse sometimes? You know, do you have to keep showing them forgiveness? Because that's what this card is about. And this is the card in the position of outcomes, Virgo. So if you do plan to, you know, continue, which I'm not judging you at all. I'm not judging you because I do not judge in that way. But if you decide to continue in this, Virgo, I feel like <clears throat> the the other person, they will play more with this energy here. And it'll be more toxic energy spreading in your relationship. You may find that you go back here to shutting down and not voicing yourself. You may feel here that your heart chakra is just so, so, so affected, like you're giving out almost. So let's go um, from this point. 
let's go a little bit deeper and find out uh, what's going on with the chemistry between your partner Virgo and this other woman, the other man. Let's go deeper, okay? So Spirit, what can you tell us about this relationship with this other person, the other woman, the other man, the fifth wheel? What is going on with this outside person? This outside person, the other woman, the other man, what's happening with them? Okay, let's see here. Okay, let's see here. Nine of Swords. Wow, that's a lot of anxiety. A lot of anxiety. This is enough anxiety to keep you up at night, to keep you wounded. Okay, so possibly, Virgo, you're uh, the other person, maybe an air sign, it's nine of swords. Okay, here we go with seven of swords. Uh, Virgo, it looks like from these two cards, because the seven of swords is all about lying and cheating. Okay, the nine of swords is all about anxiety, insomnia, staying up at night like at a high, high, high level where you can't even, you know. This person that's the third wheel, okay, and here's the six of swords. Look at all the swords here. So, Virgo, your partner is either an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or they're cheating with an air sign. Either way, it looks like, just looking at this, it looks like, this this other uh, person, they may not stay. We've got the Six of Swords, which is about leaving to go to calmer waters. We've got the Seven of Swords indicating that between those two, there's lies. They're suffering. This other person is suffering. Okay, on the bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Cups, which is about an offer of love. It could be an offer of love between the two of them, but it seems to be a lot of toxic energy, okay? The very next card is the Justice card. Um, as I'm sitting here, it feels like this other, this person, okay, and this partner who has stepped out and decided to cheat, what's happening is they're going to be brought to justice. They're going to have to be judged. The next card is, well, this could be an Aries, okay? It could also be someone in authority, the energy of authority and leadership bringing all of this together. Because we've got the Justice card, the Emperor. Could this be a marriage that's going sour, Virgo? The Ace of Wands, okay? So possibly there's a fire sign involved. But with these cards showing that much anxiety, that much unhappiness, and the other person, you know, the Six of Swords here, leaving for calmer waters. This could be a relationship that was all about passion that is going to end, Virgo, with this third party, with this third person. It's a high level of toxicity going on here. So possibly the other person is experiencing all of these wounds. Okay, Virgo, is your partner toxic? Do they need healing? This is like a deeper search for understanding. You know, that's so much going on here. I feel like because it's so much of that going on here with this in-depth spiritual energy, the spiritual strength here, <clears throat> I feel like this is so unique that it must be, you know, maybe just a few of you that this will touch on. Because that is so much spiritual energy coupled with addictions and negative energy, insomnia, leaving for calmer waters. Then we have this authority here. This could be the way that spirit is representing itself in this reading, Virgo. Okay? So I want you to consider where do you fall in line here with this reading because... This, the Ace of Wands, is all about a brand new start, brand new, fiery, passionate beginning. The Justice card could represent a possible divorce or breakup, okay? The Emperor here could be a guide representing itself, an ancestor to help you. I feel like with all the healing that's going on and needed here and all the toxic energy that needs to be cleansed out, 
this is something that feels like you know, it's it's going to take a lot of time. It's going to take you actually cutting cords when you need to, you know, and understanding yourself and a new beginning. If you decide to go forward with this person, Virgo, this could leave you very drained and exhausted if you're not getting help. Okay, I feel like looking at, yeah, Spirit is saying this is like an emergency case. <laughs> Don't try to do this completely on your own, Virgo. If you do decide to stay in this marriage, in this union, um, because of your love for this person, you know, I'm not sure if you're the one watching or you're the cross watcher, but don't do it completely and totally alone. Just know that you can reach out for help. You know, your ancestors, your spirit guides, they're always there for us. We have to be open and receptive and willing. Okay, and, uh, you know, sometimes we just need that supportive, those supportive structures outside, especially if there's a problem with drugs and alcohol and addiction. Okay, so Virgo, I'm sorry about that. I'm, I'm sorry that you're experiencing so much, you know, drama, trauma, anxiety, wounds. And I hope that I was able to give you a little bit of clarity uh, in this, in your love triangle situation. So I will see you and talk to you soon, Virgo. You have a wonderful and blessed and beautiful day. Bye-bye.